Alright guys, today I'm going to do a little video here on uh, Moto X versus Moto G. And we're going to go through these two devices just a little bit here, do some comparisons for you, uh, and talk about some of the differences in them as well. Both two really, really nice devices. So right over here, this one is my Moto G. This one is my developer version of the Moto X. This is GSM version. This one is a Verizon variant. Um, just so you know what we're talking about. So let's go ahead and just look at the sizing. I mean, first of all, you can see the size on the front looks exactly the same. There is a difference in the display of 0.2 of an inch, so very, very little really um, on the display. Um, we'll also talk about some things you can see on the front, and they both do have your uh, ear speaker right there. One difference here is the camera on the Moto X, it's on the right. On the Moto G, it's on the left. Um, other than that, let's uh, pick these things up, show you a little bit on the difference on the back. Even here you can tell there really isn't a big difference. Um, again, here's speaker is on the left, here's your speaker is on the right. Looks like same camera, same flash, got the little dimple right there for the uh, Motorola logo. Overall size is very much the same. I do see you have an extra, what looks like a little mic pickup right there that the uh, Moto G does not have. Let's turn them over again here. Give you a comparison on the side. Same button uh, layout right there. Pretty much exactly the same. Volume up and down power, volume up and down power. I don't know if you can tell, but you can see that there's a little bit of thickness. The Moto G is just a smidge thicker. Um, not really a ton, but you know, just a little bit. Um, a little bit thicker of a device. Let's see what else we got here. Flip them the other way. This side, the only difference is I have a SIM tray right here on the Moto X, and on the Moto G there's nothing. The SIM goes on the back because you can take off the back. This device, the back comes off. You can even replace them and do interchangeable backs on there, whereas the Moto X is not set up that way. Um, other than that, we'll take a quick look at the top here. And probably it's hard, a little bit hard to see this, but you can see the speaker hole on the Moto X and you have the exact same speaker hole on the Moto G and then the bottom same exact setup there also so there you go hopefully you can see that a little bit better um, right in there you've got your two jacks on the bottom so we've seen the two um, set up there for the devices all right now that you've seen the both devices all around them basically really not too much difference just some different speaker location and camera locations is, is really the only real difference on them on the body a little bit of thickness size as well let's go ahead and try to power these on at the exact same time and there you go you can see I've gone ahead and unlocked both of these you can also tell there's a screen difference here um, because there is basically and you're gonna see how they boot is gonna boot a little differently um, so your Moto G you can see actually boot a little bit faster and has a different tint to its screen. I think you can see that in the video. And I'll talk to you why it booted faster. The main reason why the Moto G boot is faster is because it has a quad core processor, um, whereas the Moto X over here has a dual core processor. Now, it's kind of funny, it's called a dual core, it's really not a dual core. What it is, it's a Motorola X8 mobile computing system. What it has on here is two cores for processing, one core for language, one core for like um, texturals, and then um, four cores for your graphics. That's what this has got. Whereas the Moto G has just got a quad core processor. So when it comes to computing, this is going to be faster. When it comes to the whole package, this is going to look better. Um, and that's just the way you're going you're gonna to have to understand it. So one of the other things I want to show you guys while I'm here is I'm going to go ahead and run a quadrant score. And this will kind of prove the differences in that processor and what I mean by that. So, hit OK on both of those. And we're going to go ahead and run a quadrant really quick and show you the difference in those. So, we'll run full benchmark. All right, there we go. And you're going to see that when it comes to, well, actually, these are actually pretty matched right now. But you're going to see when it comes to like the graphics and some of the other things on the Moto X, it's a little better than the Moto G. Uh, while these are running, I'm going to talk about your displays. Uh, the Moto G has got a, what is it, it would be a 
4.5 inch screen and it is you know just a standard you know 720p um, it's just screen whereas the Moto X has got the 4.7 inch screen a mold RGB HD 720p screen and you I can see just looking at them by each other there's a little bit of color difference and I actually like the mold better it looks nicer now that was actually really crazy that these actually ran like exactly the same so let me go back to browser results okay so we're just gonna go ahead and hit yes on both of these and see our results and it's actually interesting uh, how this actually came out um, even though this has got that mobile X computing in it um, but this has got the quad core your, your quadrant scores are almost the same actually the Moto G is um, better but it's mainly because of the processor so you can see the blue here the blue is your processor and then over here you can see the blue is a lot lower but your um, your memory is way better over here so that's a big boost your um, what is that number your on off IO stuff is much better and your graphics are better so when it comes to the total score of the device they're pretty much equal but when it comes to the individual spots this is more well rounded over here on the Moto X versus the Moto G but still very equivalent scores of uh, basically 8000 just just around there 8300 something like that on both devices so that's really cool I didn't actually know that. I've not compared them like this before so very interesting on on the processing there that really kinda shows me though that this uh, Moto G is actually pretty good pretty pretty good device really I mean like I say this thing comes out contract for two hundred dollars so amazing really hundred and eighty if you want the eight gig model I got the sixteen here um, so we can show you that information on there obviously you can get root access you can do all the custom stuff unlike the bootloaders like you saw when I turn these things on I've got videos on that too if you want to check it out um, other than that one of the things I guess you can compare we'll, we'll look through here and you can see I mean these these do run quite nicely quite smoothly you know everything kind of pops in and out uh, no big no big deal let's go ahead and see what's on them they do basically look like they're running pretty much the same software yeah you know, all the all the files or programs are, are pretty much exactly the same um, this this Moto X obviously is going to have the new features with shaking the camera and are shaking the phone and it launches the camera with the um, active uh, notification display with the microphone integration and all that obviously this is the high-end device of the two um, but when it comes to the rest of it it's very nice um, they actually both have been updated at this point to Android 4.4 I'll show you in this one this one I haven't actually updated yet even though the updates out I haven't done it go to about phone there's the Android 4.4 there's your Easter egg. This is 4.3, so it's still technically on Jelly Bean. Even though it, it, it is already updated, I just haven't done it yet. But there you can see the Easter eggs on both of these devices, which is pretty cool. Um, there you go. That's pretty much my comparison of them. I mean, the, only, the other difference is obviously this thing's got, I think, 2 gigs of RAM. This one has, uh, Moto G has 1 gig. Um, some of the other things I could mention to you would be the battery, 2200 milliamps over here. This is like 2100 milliamps, but really very, very close when it comes down to that kind of stuff. Size we've already talked about. Obviously, your cell signal and all that is pretty much the exact same s signals. Um, I think this one has a 1.2 gigahertz processor. So 1.2. This is a 1.7 gigahertz processor so little little variations there as well but nothing too too different they're both snapdragon processors so there you go guys that's going to be my review of uh, these two devices kind of comparing them a little bit and talking about their functionality otherwise pretty much the same these things do get great updates from motorola big props to them on doing that so i hope you guys like this little uh comparison review of the moto g and the moto x and we'll catch you guys next time root junkie out